Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So today I'm making some ATCs that I made yesterday. Um, I'm recreating what I did yesterday because some people wanted to see my process. So I figured I would show that while I talked to you about my beach trip. I missed you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so basically what I did here, let's start with the project first and then we'll get into the tea. So I have a, a black piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by 11. And then I took some pieces of book page and I ripped them up into like squares and rectangles. And then I went around those with some ink, totally not necessary. It was just an added thing I did at the time. And now I have some tissue paper and it's tan, obvi. And I just wrinkled it up really good. And then as I put it down, I just kind of squished it. So it got lots of bumps and wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just using matte Mod Podge to go over the top and the bottom to get that to really stick. And that's the process that I'm going through right now. Okay, so my beach trip. Uh, lots of pros and tons of, con of cons. <laughs> Um, so we ended up going, obviously, um, we only went for two nights versus three, like we normally do. Uh, we decided we will never do that again because it basically felt like by the time we got there and got packed up, it was already time to go. Um, our trip technically wasn't even 48 hours. So check in for the place that we, um, booked was at five o'clock, but we've always been able to get early check-in. We just pay a little bit extra and these people did not allow us to do early check-in. Um, we decided to get there early anyways, um, because we have also found in the past that if you just kind of show up, um, if the cleaning's done, they just let you in and they would not, they did not let you in until exactly 5 PM. Exactly. So they had, um, a keypad. Um, and so we got that. So we were all there. So we go inside and there's a keypad for the lower level and the top level. So we were kind of confused by that until we went inside in the lower level first and realized that there are no stairs on the inside to get upstairs. We were like, what? So basically it was two totally different living quarters, you guys. <sighs> So originally I was going to be sleeping upstairs and Celeste and Jen were going to be sleeping downstairs. But when we opened the downstairs, it totally smelled like marijuana, <laughs> which was fine by me. Uh, my best friend is really sensitive to smells and she couldn't stand it. And so I offered to switch with her. So Celeste and I stayed downstairs. She was upstairs with her other two friends and um, I didn't realize what an impact that would have on me having to go up and down the stairs and yada yada. So anyway, Celeste and I had a full living room down there and a bathroom, but no shower or bath. So we had to go outside up steep, wet, wooden stairs and back down these steep, wet, wet wooden stairs <laughs> to get back to our room. So it was super inconvenient and totally sucked. Um, I'm not going to lie. Also, our house was on a busy street, which most of us did not realize. And so that was awkward. Me walking up the steps in my nightgown in the rain at night where everybody can see me on a busy street. <laughs> it was so weird. Uh, not that I really cared, but anyway, so there was that. And the whole place was um, furnished with Ikea furniture, which is awesome, except for it was the really cheap Ikea furniture and nothing was comfortable. Everything was like super weak and yada, yada. And then our Wi-Fi didn't work. And so uh, we were at the beach. It was stormy, but still. Um, and we kept trying to talk to the property management and blah, blah, blah. And then finally the next day in the afternoon, a guy came and fixed it for us. So the bulk of our trip, we did not have Wi-Fi. And obviously with our phones, that was totally fine. But like I wanted to use my iPad. That's what I do. Anyways. Okay. So I have not left town or been to a restaurant in quite a few years now because of COVID and stuff. I not only did I go out of town, um, but I was able to eat at two restaurants like inside. And I, that was a luxury for me that has not happened in a very long time. Like I said, years. Um, now I'm just drying this, obviously. So and we're going to go on to the next step, which is trimming off the edges. 
and I line it all up and trim it. And at some point I trimmed kind of that um, excess tissue paper because I wanted to make sure I had my lines lined up really well because I just trim off like a hair around all the edges. So anyways, um, the first restaurant we went to was one that we've been to many times before and it was really good. Um, and then the second restaurant was a very nice restaurant on the water across the street from us, which was totally convenient because we just ran across the busy street, <laughs> the highway actually. <laughs> so it was, it was crazy. Um, this restaurant was very nice. It was really good. Um, we had a great time, but by the time we got back, um, oh, and then I forgot to tell you that Saturday, which was the day we went to the fancy restaurant before that Celeste and I drove a little ways to a really big antique store that I had wanted to go to that I was telling you guys about. Um, it was freaking amazing, you guys. It was so big. I was so overwhelmed. It was hot in there and we had to wear a mask. Um, totally sucked. Plus, Celeste and I both had big purses. So we were scared that every time we turned around, we were going to knock over some glass or something. But anyways, it was really cool. It was kind of like, um, it was an antique mall. So like every booth, was uh, a separate owner, but they kind of all flowed together. So you didn't really know whose was whose stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff I felt was a little overpriced, but then again, they're renting the space and having to sell it. So that makes sense. But we found some cool stuff. Nobody else was interested in it, but Celeste and I, I'm so glad she came with me because we really did have a great time. And she found this huge jar, like a mason jar full of antique jewelry bits and bobs and there was even like a little baby spoon in there um or a sugar spoon or something it was a tiny spoon and it was beautiful and I told her man if you don't buy those I'm going to so she bought it and we had planned on going through it all and we just never got the time so now I am going to add some ink to my cards. I'm adding some gold ink. This is kind of my first layer here. So yeah, we had a really good time. We found lots of stuff. I only grabbed two things, two books, and I'll show you guys those in a little bit, um, maybe in tomorrow's video. And um, I want to collage some stuff with them because I think they're pretty cool. So anyways, I didn't, I didn't get to see um, what was all in the glass jar, but she said she'll send me some pictures when she goes through it. It was so cool. Um, I wish I would have seen it first because I think that would have been really fun to look through on the channel, but she'll send me pics and I'll share them with you. It was really cool. So, um, yeah, we had a good time and, uh, she bought, bought, Bart, <laughs> she bought some art deco stuff for her house. She's been kind of designing each of her rooms and she found some beautiful prints, original pieces that, um, she's going to put in her bathroom and they're, I think her bathroom, but they look really good. Like they match exactly. Um, so anyways, that was really fun. So anyways, we had done that and then we had to go to the Dollar Tree to get some stuff for my best friend and then we came home and then basically we got ready and went to dinner and then came back. So this is where my next part was going to. I ended up being beyond exhausted. I had massive anxiety before we left because I have an anxiety disorder and I also haven't left in my family in a couple years now. So that made it worse. Okay, so I mixed some red and white ink to make this pink. Um, and it kind of looks like Pep Pepto-Bismol, um, but I kind of correct it a little bit later and it'll look fine once, once I put like pieces on top and stuff. Anyways, it was an experiment. That's what art's about. And you can always correct things with layers. So don't ever worry if you put something on you don't like, just cover it up with another layer and eventually it'll look really freaking awesome. So don't give up. So by the time we got back from dinner, we had to run across the street and then up our driveway was a very steep driveway. So I was terrified to walk down it. I thought I was going to fall. And then we get up and we go upstairs and then we get into the house. And by then I, my anxiety and my fibro, my body was killing me. Um, that was a lot of activity for me in the day. And so, um, I ended up having, being in a lot of pain. So they played cards against humanity. I kind of chimed in a little bit. They were playing right next to me. I was on the couch. And so I had to put my headphones in and kind of zone out. I kind of like, it's kind of like a meditation that I do. Like I, I focus on something like a, an art or something on my iPad so that I'm not focused on my pain. 
And so I had to do that for a little bit. And then I kind of joined the group and we were laughing so hard. I mean, all of us said we have not laughed that hard in a very long time. I mean, very long time. Um, I mean, it was hard for me at first, like when everybody was laughing and drinking and stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, my head, everything hurts. The lights are bright. Like I'm super sensitive to light. Uh, honestly, I wanted to go downstairs and go to bed. Uh, but then I pushed through it and then I started to feel just a little bit better. Um, and yeah, I had such a good time. And then three of them, three of my friends went into the, uh, hot tub and that was really fun for them. Uh, it was raining and cold outside. So I bet it felt amazing. But yeah, it was just, it was a really good time. Um, the house was the pits. It was by far the worst house we've ever had. Um, I'm really glad that two of our friends backed out last minute because it would have been even harder to have more of us there with that situation. Um, yeah, that was kind of a bummer. But, you know, you don't really know until you get there. I mean, houses, like this house looked amazing in its photos. And then you get there and you're like, okay, this is like a quarter of the size that I thought it was. They never, ever mentioned in their listing that there's no stairs going upstairs on the inside of the house, that you have to go outside to go up. So that was huge to us. It was just, oh, and then Friday night, our first night there, Celeste is in our bathroom. We're in our level now of the house, the main level. And she comes out and she goes, oh my gosh, Nicole, I'm washing my makeup off my face or whatever. And I kind of saw the blinds move in the bathroom. And so she opened them and our window was open. We had two windows in our, we are on the main floor. <clears throat> excuse me, two of our windows were open, you guys, like either the cleaning person left it open or whoever was down there smoking weed before we got there, uh, left the windows open and Celeste found both of them. Had we not known, like somebody could have crawled into our room and we won't even go to what could have happened. So that was incredibly scary. I don't know if it was done on purpose or it was just an accident, like they were airing it out. I don't know. Um, yeah, that was terrifying. Okay, so these are dry. So, and poor little Sherman, go he missed me so bad. I looked on our, we have cameras. Brown. So I looked on there, and here he is just sitting in there waiting for his mommy. And I <laughs> so messaged my husband. Really I'm like, nice meal. Uh, you need to go um, see my dog. Like said, He's staring really at the door waiting for me all alone. And, then and so then after that, my husband really, sent me all these pictures of Sherman being all cozy and cute. He was spoiled, but he loves his mom. And then um, we laughed loves so hard mommy. that night, you guys. That Saturday night. We had so much fun, and we you just guys, laughed I cannot laughed believe laughed. all we the stuff really I saw time. at the antique store. I'm so, I was so overwhelmed um, at first. Now I kind of wish that, the other like, thing I that happened was went back another day and kind of went back through again because I, we kind of did we, one you know, big one swoop rented, through, and this store was so like big, you guys. Minutes. Like, and one time huge. When we rented, and then there was another there was room no on top of that room that was, like, even bigger. It was just nuts. Like, every place it was never-ending stuff, and it was amazing. Okay, so I went around the edges of my ATCs with brown ink and then I went through with black ink just to make the edges just a little bit darker and at first I was thinking I would use some of these pretty um stickers for the pink ones and then it just wasn't really working for me I don't know what I want to do with those yet so I decided to kind of put them aside and try again another time it just wasn't working with the vibe and the mood I was in at the time so I passed on those, but that, that doesn't mean I'm not going to go back probably when I'm done with this video and play around with them. I don't know. Okay. So these ones are more like the ones that I did yesterday. I love these, uh, vintage stickers from the Dollar Tree and the rub on letters. Like I used almost all my rub on letters yesterday, like all the vowels and stuff. So I was trying to go through there and find some more. Um, I might go to the Dollar Tree when I'm done here and go look for a few more. So the, the packaging says stickers, but it's not. It's an old Dollar Tree sticker package. I just threw those all in there so that they wouldn't get lost. So I'm kind of trying to figure out, I was gonna do one that said key and one that said time, and I'm trying to figure out if I have all the letters. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna do zip. I wanted a Z, and it didn't even come with a Z. I feel so ripped off. My last, my maiden name started with a Z, so I'm a little particular about those Zs. And there wasn't one. Unless I was looking right at it and didn't see it. That that very well could be part of the issue. I'm not sure. 
So I'm starting off with key, and I'm finding the K, the Y, and the E. Can you hear Sherman snoring in the background? He's a happy camper being back with his mama. So anyways, when we got back, I was so happy to be back. I was so happy to take a shower and um, rest. I was exhausted, even though I barely did anything. <laughs> it doesn't take much, you know, like when you have chronic fatigue and stuff. So um, then Monday and Tuesday, I just kind of spent um, relaxing. I barely slept. Oh, Monday or wait, was that yesterday? Monday, I woke up at 5 a.m. and I just, I couldn't sleep. I was achy. I didn't feel good. And then yesterday, um, I woke up with a migraine and it was killing me. And I had this um, massager in my room and I had to use it on my head, like my actual dome. <laughs> like not just my neck or anything, like my forehead, my jaw. So what was happening is I was in, when I, I'm in a lot of pain at night, I clenched my jaw. And so I just woke up with a horrible migraine yesterday. So then I was so excited to go to bed. And then Jackson wakes me up at 11, right in my deepest sleep. And I was like, mom, the Wi-Fi is not working and my light won't turn off in my room. Because <laughs> we have everything on a smart switch. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I just can't even deal with it right now. Unplug it. I don't know what to tell you. So that kind of sucked because it broke up my sleep. But what do you do? I'm his mom. That's my job. So... I'm really tired today, but I'm pushing through. I got this. I'm excited to be back in my craft room. I'm excited to start my Christmas junk journal glue book situation. I'm probably going to start that on Monday, um, November 1st. So that will be fun. I've been kind of collecting some stuff for that. So I'm just rubbing on the little, the little letters. Now I really want to go to Dollar Tree and find some more rub on. These things are kind of hard to find. Like, they're gone pretty quickly. So, got that one. And I always glue my stickers down because I feel like over time they start to lift and dry out. So, I really make sure that they're glued down. And I use my art glitter glue for that. That's the white bottle right there that I have the little pin in. So I'm trying to decide. I found a bunch of stickers I didn't know I had. I, okay, I have this little container that has like an obscene amount of stickers in it. I looked through those stickers like 10 times yesterday because I always miss even though I flip through it. And even though I went through there like 10 times yesterday, I still found these and did not realize they were in there. So I need to do like some sticker organization. So this one says coffee and then it has a coffee mug. And I was trying to see if I wanted to put that little spoon there, but meh, it just kind of ruined it for me. So I put that away and then I get out my, um, whatchamacallit, stickles. Gosh, brain fart. That's when you know I'm, I'm having issues. I cannot say my words. Um, I love stickles. It's my favorite glitter glue. It's kind of like adult glitter glue, if you will. Um... Anyways, I'm adding some steam. I was just looking at my steam and realizing that I didn't put any of my curly cues the other way, but whatever. Anyways, I added a bunch of like curly cues with it so that it looks like um, steam coming out of it. And it'll look really cool when it's dry. I, It's really hard to see when it's wet, but once it's dry, you'll really be able to tell. All right, now I'm on to my last one for the day. And this one, I want to do something with time because there was all these like clocks and like time thingies. Um, I was going to use this one, but then I realized it was just way too small. Kind of like that key. The key one wasn't big enough for me. I should have had a, used a bigger key piece. But so I'm going to put this little clock in there. And I add my glue. And of course, I'm going to remove it later. I did this yesterday too. I kept moving my piece to fit so my letters could fit better. <laughs> Oh, well. All right. So I have these silver letters um, that I've had forever. So here I am moving my clock, adding more glue because I decided to have my letters go above and below instead of just like all above or all below. And I'm making sure that the time is facing the right way so I don't get a bunch of shit for it in the comment section. <laughs> Your clock is upside down. Oh, please. Maybe I wanted it like that. All right, so I'm adding TikTok, like, you know, 
tick tock, tick tock, tick. Yeah, okay, you get it. And I'm using K's, tick tock. These are really nice stickers. And I kind of have like little indents, like tiny little dot indentations in them, like really small. So it kind of makes it look more industrial. I love it. So anyways, long story short, the trip had some um, downsides, but I had a lot of ups and I don't regret going at all. It was a lot of fun. We laughed a lot. We had a blast. Um, by the end of it, I could barely speak. I was so tired. I could barely walk into my house. So, you know, it was good. I'm already looking forward to our next trip. We're definitely going to go for three nights again instead of two. That was just too short for us. Um, but yeah, we we also do like a, a get together brunch and watch movies at my bestie's house. That's always a lot of fun. So anywho, so here they are. Here are the finished ATCs, artist trading cards. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today. I had fun hanging out with you. I missed you guys so much. And I look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Bye.